All right, we're beginning our ninth and final unit of the AP World Modern Curriculum. Yes, and this is a globalization unit. Um, much of the globalization unit, much of this unit nine is stuff that you guys are all familiar with by just being alive. But maybe a couple of these things we do need to have conversations about. So we're gonna be talking about technology um, and, and uh, diseases in the 20th century that are gonna have tremendous impacts on, on global populations. So what do you need to know? Well, we got all kinds of things for technology, obviously in the 20th century. New modes of communication, radio, cellular communication, the internet, um, as well as transportation, including air travel and shipping containers will reduce the problems of geographic distance that have long plagued uh, populations around the world. Uh, energy technologies will move from the use of coal to petroleum and even nuclear power um, that will raise productivity and increase the production of material goods. More effective forms of birth control are going to give women greater control over their fertility. Uh, we've got tran transformation of reproductive practices, babies being born later in smaller families. Um, this will contribute to declining fertility rates in much of the world. The Green Revolution brings new technologies to the agricultural field and will work to cre increase food yields to support the Earth's growing populations. And medical innovations, uh, vaccines and antibiotics are going to give humans the ability to live longer than they ever had before. So let's jump through a few of these. Again, communications, um, you guys live this. Um, we're gonna see many advancements through the 20th century. The telephone existed through the century, but the, 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 by the end of the century, there's no need for wired telephone communication as we have the advent of cellular uh, communications. Um, the development of the internet by the late 1970s um, and uh, is gonna have a commercial and communication implications by the 1990s. Um, email, e-commerce through Amazon and eBay, social media will become ubiquitous. That means like all over the world by the 21st century that will connect people and information instantly around the world. Uh, transportation advancements. Uh, the first manned flight is, is in 1903 with the Wright brothers, but by the late 20th century, we are going to see commercial flights connecting population centers all around the world, allowing for faster transportation between cities and continents for private travel, business travel, and the travel of the shipments of cargo. Um, large tanker ships, and here's maybe the most famous one in the world, but you can't really see it behind me. There's that evergreen ship that got stuck in the Suez. Uh, large tankers are going to transverse oceans, carrying thousands of shipping containers to destinations, um, connecting production sites, often in East um, or South Asia, to buyers in Europe or North America. And with regard to energy production, in 1900, half the world's energy was produced through the burning of coal. But as we move through the 20th century, other fossil fuels will enter the mix, like oil and natural gas. Uh, they will begin to be used to produce energy. Um, but concerns over environmental costs will lead to development of alternative energy sources, including nuclear power generation, solar, wind, and hydroelectric power. These will all grow through the remainder of the 20th and into the 21st century. The Green Revolution. In the mid 20th century, American scientists began to develop new genetically modified varieties of staple crops like wheat and corn, uh, rice, soybeans that will produce higher yields and were more resistant against droughts and pests. And these technologies will spread around the world. Also, new developments in pesticides and fertilizers will contribute to dramatically increased food yields. Though the Green Revolution is not without its problems, um, high costs um, to, to get into this industry with Green Revolution technologies as, as small farmers have a hard time competing with large corporate landowners. And there are environmental impacts, certainly from the uh, use of these fertilizers and pesticides. But you can see on the graph above that, uh, that those top lines are, are the crop yields, while that bottom flat line is the land use. So we have even more food being produced on the same amount of land, despite the population of the world growing to over 7 billion people. 
Now there are incredible medical innovations in the 20th century. The first antibiotic penicillin is gonna be discovered in 1928 and become mass produced through World War II. Uh, this widespread use of antibiotics is gonna save countless lives, both in the second world war and then beyond uh, from deadly bacterial infections. But concerns over bacteria, antibiotic use will lead to antibiotic risk resistant bacteria um, that, be, that are posing a threat to modern um, medical um, uh, science. Um, and we've even seen uh, many doctors start to pull back on their prescriptions for antibiotics, especially for young people. Vaccines have existed since the 19th century, but widespread manufacture and distribution is only going to come in the 20th century. Diseases like polio, measles, and smallpox are largely eradicated uh, by the 1980s, uh, especially in the developed world. Uh, vaccination will dramatically decrease global childhood mortality. And then the development of birth control pill, in first in the 1950s and then um, a, a supported or, or um, uh, approved in the United States in the 1960s will dramatically decrease fertility rates in the developing world, developing world um, and the developed world. And it will reshape gender roles as women could now choose um, when to start having children or how many children to have, um, which gives women more options in their career choices and their family choices. With regard to humans and the environment, uh, what we need to know is that diseases, uh, despite the advancements, um, as well as medical and scientific developments are gonna have uh, significant effects on populations in the 20th and 21st century. Diseases associated with poverty are going to persist while they might be eradicated in, in the more wealthy world, um, while new epidemics are, are ever emerging that can pose threats to human populations. And we certainly know that here in 2021. In some cases, vast social disruption takes place because of the spread of these diseases. These outbreaks will spur many medical advances, um, though some diseases that are occurring at higher incidence, um, especially in the developed world, because of increased longevity. <clears throat> so let's take a look at some diseases associated with poverty. Um, these are largely in the developing world, um, diseases that were, were largely gotten rid of in the developed world are still wreaking havoc in, in poorer parts of the world, like Sub-Saharan Africa um, in South Asia. Um, tuberculosis and cholera, diseases that ravaged populations during the 19th century, still persist um, despite vaccines and antibiotic cures for some of these. Mosquito-borne um, uh, sicknesses like malaria continue to kill more than a half a million people each year in Africa, even though a promising vaccine is on the horizon. A number of epidemic diseases have spread throughout the 20th century that have caused tremendous deaths and social disruptions. Uh, in 1918, uh, what was known as the Spanish flu would kill tens of millions uh, around the world in the last months of World War I and the years after. Um, it was that contact of the humanity in, in Europe that would contribute to the spread of this epidemic disease around the world. Um, HIV and AIDS in the 1980s will kill tens of millions of people from the 80s through today. Particularly hard hit is Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, promising anti-retroviral anti, uh, drugs have led to longer life, lives with human, uh, HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, but are often cost prohibitive in poorer regions of the world. Today, some messenger RNA vaccines are currently promising um, in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Um, this is some of the same technology that has gone into our COVID-19 vaccines. Diseases associated with longevity. As life expectancy has grown, we are now dealing with more diseases that, that connect to old age. Um, heart disease is the world's most prevalent cause of death today. Alzheimer's and dementia, these are diseases that impact older individuals, leading to a progressive loss of memory and ultimately a loss of bodily functions and death. Um, these are diseases that weren't, um, weren't a major factor in earlier generations because people simply didn't live that long. So what do we want to take from this? The 20th century brings new technologies and innovations that revolutionize communication, transportation, agriculture, and medicine. With more interconnectivity, 
new epidemic diseases are bringing major demographic effects to the world. And with increased longevity due to medical advancements and greater nutrition, other diseases associated with that longevity are, are starting to grow in, um, uh, in and around uh, the developed world and very soon uh, more so in the developing world as well. We'll talk to you soon.